Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. And I'm Drew. And today is the... Boston Comic Con! Comic -Con 20 2011 edition. edition. It's actually going to be about two hours from where we are now, because we got to make a lot of stops. Boston's really only about an hour from now, but yeah. I'm estimating we'll be there about, well, let's just say worst case scenario, 11. <laughs> just in time for everybody in the costume to get there. Yay! We have to get money, and we have to get something to eat. And, uh, but we'll get there. Yeah, we will. As you can see this year, I'm accompanied by Drew, who made it. Hi! <laughs> this way? Yes. So I gotta get the mojo going. I got the, I got the costume from head to toe. You know, I get my Green Hornet from the Kevin Smith comics. Yes. My Kato is a hot chick. <laughs> and, uh, Drew is... If you can tell from the little patch here... Little. Huh, little patch. And the uh, Umbrella Corporation patch on this side. I am one of the bad guys. The nameless bad guys that Alice mows down through in the Resident Evil movies. You're not really nameless. Your name's right there. I know. It's actually right there. Sorry. Still gonna get mowed down by Alice. I hope there's an Alice there and she like come up and kicks you. Scorpion yeah, kicks you. That'd be hilarious. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you right here. If this, if a really hot chick like Alice really was like took the time out to myrtleize me on camera in a true Resident Evil fashion, I'd do it. And then he'd wake up. <laughs> America gets to run on Dunkin' Donuts. I know, but that's an American tradition. We're on our way to get something to eat before we make our long trek to, yeah. to Boston. And as you can see, our time it has changed. It's now 10.01. Yeah. And we got the food, and we're on our way. And if you do not hear me, come. Then do hell with you! <laughs> Back to the secret identity. On the way to the Boston Comic Con 2011 edition. Accompanied by Drew this time. This time. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I made it happen this time. Barely. Barely actually, made it. Actually, no. Barely. You know who made, made it, it happen? Lisa made it happen. Lisa. My personal Wonder Woman. Yes, and she is a Wonder Woman. She is a wonder. She's got the boots now. Yeah, I got her to the boots. This is from... Uh, sorry, uh, MacGyver. Hold up, Quantum Leap's up next. That's funny. It's funny. It'll get better. The show will get better, I promise. We're coming up on the Pumpin' Pantry. Yes, the world famous Pumpin' Pantry. It is the one place on Route 2 if you're traveling anywhere mid east, uh, middle of Massachusetts to Boston. It's like the stopping place to get something to eat. It's your last hope before you get into the city. That means from here on, it's city travel. Come on, Bennett. You don't need that gun. Put it down. Stick a knife in me. See what's going on in my eyes, you turn it. Don't deny yourself some pleasure. It's party. Commando, the greatest action movie ever made. With Allison, um, gosh. Lisa Milano? Lisa Milano, who is in Double Dragon. Oh, Double Dragon with the worst pineapple <laughs> coconut hairdo ever. Massachusetts. Run silent mode, Kato. This is how smart people travel in Boston. This is Summersville, creeping up on Boston. This is a different location than the Comic Con last year. Yeah. This, is, this is taking longer. We're gonna get there. 12, in 12 minutes, according to this. I 
towards second. Uh, we are now on famous Storo Drive. The GPS, it is five minutes away. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chinatown! Do, 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 do. What's going on? Your GPS does not like this. No, 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 no. Boston. Do not blame it on the GPS. Do not blame it on the city. Boston does not like your GPS. No, 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 no. Dude, this is an inanimate object, okay? This is here. It's an animated object with a brain in, in control of this other vehicle. <laughs> now, what is the, now, what is the problem? It's not working. It's not working. Bedford Street. Okay. The left here. It would appear we were not at the right building. Which is terrible, because all the good looks that we got from everybody was just priceless. Awesome. We'll get there. Boston. This is Boston Comic Con. Take. So this time we're only traveling across town. No, we kind of went to the wrong place and it's kind of funny. Got some looks. Oh, yeah, we got some looks all right. You, you terrify people. This is the Boston Comic Con 2011 edition part two. two. Yeah, if we can get, actually get to the place. That's the future of Drew's sexual dreams right now. Oh, yeah. Are you bot or not? Right, 900. 900. If we were going 300, we'd be really in a lot of trouble. We're eventually going to get there. Of course we are. Eventually. In search of. In search of Boston Comic Con 2011. Hi. You're not discouraged, are you? No. <laughs> I just want to get there, that's all. You know, I think the guy with the fat hat's in there. I hope he's in the right hotel. Now, who would go dressed up like this to the wrong hotel? It would be us. <laughs> Thankfully. There's other people in costume suits, so we know we're here. Yeah, so we're not going to be alone this time, which was very awkward and very unique. And I thought it was awesome. Very rare thing to actually be able to walk into a hotel with the Green Hornet and a security officer from the Umbrella Corporation. That is probably the one of the very few things you ever get a chance to do in your lifetime, and it's off my bucket list. We're now going um, handheld video till we get out. See you then. Here we are, Andy. Say hi. The Boston Comic Con 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's all about. Follow me, sir. <laughs> Watch out, the garrison's here. Yeah, I gotta get the Tron guy. Nice. He's like the Star Wars area. So sweet. If you have a flash, take a picture with the flash. The flash? Yeah, absolutely. That is impressive. <laughs> wow. Don't worry, guys. You'll it see the picture. While, it took a while to find the right, the right material, but we ended up going to the company that does the uh, oh, the street signs that's in the U.S. So we, oh, that's like the plastic on top. That's yeah. Sweet. This is the plastic on top of the metal that reflects street signs. This is hardcore. This is what you're going to find here. Let's go see the Ghostbusters. Yeah, let's go see the Ghostbusters. That is awesome. Hey, it's Vigo! Smile! Are you guys like part of a union? Because like there's like three other cat women I've seen out here. Can you say things are perfect? Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. All I can say is, wow. It's Batgirl. What do you think, Andy? Impressive? Very impressive. Very impressive. I know what the difference between a comic book convention and a comic book show is. Comic book conventions have a lot hotter girls dressed in a lot hotter costumes for a lot of interesting reasons. And I like it. Wow, this is really interesting. You get to see a lot of interesting people. You're dressed up in different costumes. 